It's been 10 years since the original iPhone, so I thought we'd take a look back at it and is it still worth it in 2017? I remember sitting in primary school in 2007 just dreaming of the day I'd get my hands on an iPhone 1. 10 years later I finally have and it just puts things into retrospect with really how far we've come with smartphone technology. The iPhone 2G features a curved aluminum body with a black bar down the bottom to allow Wi-Fi transmission and also um, cellular. Apple kind of went for the similar design as to the accompanying MacBook that came out in the same year which I actually have and still use to this day. Obviously down the bottom you've got your 30 pin dock connector not used by Apple anymore. At the top you've got your recessed headphone jack which caused a lot of controversy back in 2011. People couldn't even use their own headphones unless they had uh, a headphone plug that would actually fit into the port. When you plug it in but it won't go all the way in and it won't work. On the front you've got a clean multi-touch display which was actually the first of its kind back in 2007. Apple kind of revolutionized this idea. They were pretty much the first kind of company to really bring the multi-touch display to a smartphone. Fast forward to the future and now we've got all these amazing things like studio lighting and phones, portrait modes, we've got facial recognition coming with the iPhone 10. What a development. The iPhone 2G had no video capabilities. Basically you were stuck with a really underpowered um, camera even for the time. This was a 2 megapixel camera, like even back in 2007 there were other smartphones for a cheaper price that could take video and actually at better quality than the iPhone 2G. Where the iPhone really exceeded was in its clean software. Even using the phone today you can notice how fluid it is and even back in 2007. The, uh, for this to be new technology it must have been incredible. Unsurprisingly if you open the app store you can only download about 10 apps that are still compatible with the device. One of the funniest things I found with this is that uh, when my phone went flat I actually just used this as an iPod and it's still really quick for that. One of the failing properties of a phone and the most crucial part of it is that with the iPhone 2G you can no longer connect to the 2G network in most places. At the end of the day you can practically call the iPhone 2G a collector's item in 2017. Not only are you lacking a good camera but also cellular connection in most areas and also just why would you be using a rear underpowered smartphone such as this in 2017. The concluding question of this video which you all came here for is is the 2G worth it in 2017? Hell no. I mean this is super cool if you want to buy it as a collector's item or if you already have one just keep it in your drawer. Keep it until they're worth even more money. That's it for this week's video. I'll see you on the next one.